I'm standing on the edge of the Wadi Kelt through which pilgrims passed from Jericho up to Jerusalem and from Jerusalem down to Jericho. It passed through this rough canyon behind us, sometimes known as the Valley of the Shadow of Death. It was a scary place and it was a, uh, a, a place where bandits often hid behind the curves and the rocks and would often uh, jump pilgrims and, and uh, hijack them and take their money. There were pilgrims going up to the temple. They had money with them so they could buy their sacrifices and do the things they needed to do in Jerusalem. If they were coming back, still, they would uh, uh, be uh, subject to uh, these marauding groups who would, would patrol this valley and uh, catch people who were unsuspected. Jesus tells a story, in fact, about a man who was on his way uh, down the road to Jericho who got to caught by thieves and was beaten and left for dead and a Samaritan, someone that in those days uh, nobody liked. Think about who's the group of people you don't like. Well, substitute that for the Samaritan. And he makes the Samaritan the hero of the story. Uh, listen to it as you see the Wadi Kelt and, and uh, can imagine walking through, traveling through this ancient valley long ago. On one occasion, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus and he said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, What's written in the law? How do you read it? He said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, You've answered correctly. Do this and you'll live. But he wanted to justify himself. How often do we want to do that? So he asked Jesus, Just who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell into the hands of robbers. And that day, that would have been very easy to imagine. They stripped him of his clothes, and they beat him, and they went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite who came to him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. And he went to him, and he bandaged his wounds, and he poured on oil and wine. And then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said. When I return, I will reimburse you for any expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell among the hands of robbers? The expert in the law said, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Maybe that's Jesus' word to us still today. Go and do likewise.